asteroid warning. An expert fears that NASA cannot stop a certain impact. Insanely responsible. Today, the European Space Agency also warned us that they have a listing of over 800 asteroids that will be coming towards us in the next 100 years. The uh, near-Earth asteroids that they think are dangerous for Earth impact. This is by Sebastian Ketley on Express UK. NASA's asteroid defense plans are interesting, but not enough to keep the Earth safe from a certain future impact. This is what a space expert has told Express UK. An asteroid strike in 2013 took the world by surprise when a 65 and a half foot rock entered the atmosphere undetected. That was the Chelyabinsk meteor that flew over Russia. It highlighted the need for better defenses and served as a wake-up call for NASA. The U.S. Space Agency is currently involved in the Double Asteroid Redirect Test, DART for short. It's a mission meant to test NASA's ability to push away asteroids that are headed for Earth impact. At the same time, the European Space Agency, ESA, is involved with the Project Hera, a mission to survey the results of NASA's DART. They will be working together at the incoming Didymus twin asteroids that will be coming close to us in the year 2022. So they don't have that much time to get there and do what they have to do to mitigate, to push out the little moonlet of the two asteroids away from its, out of its uh, trajectory. They're doing it as a hands-on experiment as to what to do when Earth is uh, risking an asteroid impact. Now together, the two space agencies, NASA and ESA, have dubbed, dubbed their efforts the Asteroid Impact Deflection Assessment, or AIDA for short. But the work being done to protect Earth from deep space impacts is simply not enough. This is what one space expert is af afraid of, and he's uh, warning people that if money cannot be pulled together to fight the danger, the expert said Earth will reap what it sows. The chairman of parliament for the space Nas nation Asgardia, named Lembit Opic, told you ex Express UK that more needs to be done to address dangers from space. Mr. Opic said they do not do enough to protect Earth, and so the answer is simple. If everything that needed to happen was happening, you wouldn't need Asgardia. Mr. Opic has a track record of campaigning for more threat awareness, in particular in regards to near-Earth objects, NEOs, such as asteroids, meteors, comets. He recently told the uh, media that there is a 100% certainty Earth faces a major asteroid strike, but we cannot predict when or where it will happen. Mr. Opic served as Member of Parliament Montgomery Shire in Wales between 1998 and 2010. And during that time, he campaigned for the government to instigate a report into space-borne threats. In 1999, Mr. Opic called on the government to invest between 500,000 pounds to a million pounds on asteroid tracking solutions, and his work culminated in the year 2000 with the Near Earth Object Task Group. The group produced detailed reports September that year stating the level of the risk of life and property from near-Earth objects is largely related to what we choose to do in the future. If we do nothing, the consequences would be as described here. But by discovering and tracking most of the dangerous objects, at the same time improving our statistical knowledge of the remainder, and by studying further the consequences of impacts and possibilities for mitigation, we can hope to exert some control over future events. And now that his work with Asgardia, Mr. Opic said, the space-based micro-nation 
of concerned scientists and engineers offers a real solution to the problem. He said, in terms of Earth, we are behaving in an insanely irresponsible way by not investing the tiny amounts you need to protect and, def and deflect. And by tiny amounts, we're talking about a few tens of billions of pounds for a global defense system. If the human race is not willing to pay such a modest insurance policy, then it deserves what it gets. It would be an act of unforgivable negligence if we carry on doing so. So it's good NASA is doing some of these experiments, but the amount they're investing is still trivial. In April, NASA awarded the California-based SpaceX a contract to provide a launch service for DART. In total, the U.S. Space Agency said the asteroid redirect test carries a price tag of around $69 million. NASA is targeting June 2021 for the DART mission, which is then expected to rendezvous with the binary star system Didymus. Uh, the main moon, the main asteroid is about the size of a mountain, and the moonlet is about the size of a pyramid. It's on the moonlet that they will be doing their mission work, trying to push it out of its trajectory. DART will reach the two space rocks by October 2022, approximately 6.8 million miles from Earth and DART will then fly into Didymus at high speeds to simply knock it off orbit. We're talking about Didymoon. To knock that off its orbit, even a small orbital change millions of miles from Earth should result in the asteroid giving Earth a wide berth. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.